Hi, so this is not my idea. This is pulled from a couple of research papers and distilled, distilled down a little bit. And it's how to make a storage material for hydrogen, safe hydrogen storage at ambient temperature. That is awesome if you think about it and solves such a lot of problems. Now, the um, guideline, I think, is 8% by weight of the material. That's what the US government have published. This material will store 10% by weight, which is astonishing if you think about it, because 10% of that is hydrogen that gets released, uh, and that is obviously extremely useful. So it is, in fact, a variant of graphitic carbon nitride. Now, we did a video on that, on how to produce the bare graphitic carbon nitride, and I said in there what an amazingly useful material it is, and it is an amazingly useful material. This methodology is a, a slight adaptation of that to get the performance that we're looking for in terms of hydrogen storage. So very often you have to do adaptations to the basic graphitic carbon nitride to get it to do some of the other jobs that it can do, and it is the hot research material. It's been looked at for lots and lots of things, like hydrogen storage, they're looking at it as a, a white light emitting diode is another use for it. Apparently, it doubles the energy density of lithium ion batteries if you modify it with lithium. It's brilliant for uh, releasing hydrogen under sunlight, it's a catalyst for hydrogen evolution. It's an oxidation reduction reaction catalyst if you add metals into it. So, it's just got this whole range of uses for the kind of things that I'm really interested in. So, of course, I find it exciting. Now, the basic material that we made in the previous video uh, is good to have a look at. This material is specifically for hydrogen storage. Now, graphitic carbon nitride is a stupid price. Sigma Aldrich sell it at a gram for $100. You can find it in Europe for around about €50 Euros a gram. A chap wrote to me from the US for some... Uh, enterprising fellow is selling it on eBay for $20 a gram. I mean, $20 a gram. That's $20,000 per kilo or per bag of sugar. If you buy a normal bag of sugar, that's a kilo and you'd have to pay $20,000 for it. It's an amazing material. It is really still quite expensive, but I don't know why, because it's stunningly easy to make from two precursors that are just cheap beyond cheap. The first one is urea prills. Now, urea is a fertilizer. It's the biggest fertilizer in the world. It's sold at something like $2 a kilo. And here it is. It's just these little round um, balls of urea. Perfectly safe, marvelous material, really, really cheap, and dead easy to get hold of. The other one is table sugar. So with urea and table sugar, we can combine those and make a material that will store 10% by weight of hydrogen at ambient condition. Okay, the way to make it. All you need is 150 grams of your, your urea and then 15 grams of your table sugar. That's it. Now, of course, we need to get those to mix. And the way we do that is add water. <coughs> so you just add sufficient quantity of water to get everything in there to mix. And it'll mix better if we put it on the heater stirrer. So I'm going to put that in the heater stirrer and basically turn it into a syrup. Okay, so I've given it about half an hour just stirring it and it's all dissolved. Now, it is a bit warm, it's like at 80 degrees C. So it's a super saturated, but it's all dissolved and it's now nice, intimately mixed. And what we're going to do now is dry it and cook it. Now, we dry it and cook it at 200 degrees centigrade to dry and 550 degrees centigrade to cook. So it's going to go into our homemade kiln. Now, if you haven't watched the videos on the homemade kiln, have a quick look at those videos and find out how to make one. It really is a piece of cake and there's a series of videos, just watch through them, it'll tell you how I made the kiln. Now, you can do this in just an ordinary cup and <laughs> I think that's awesome because we're only going to find 50 and we're going to ramp up gradually so a bit of ordinary pot will do it and you just pour your liquid into the pot and stick a saucer on top because it has to be lightly covered. But I found these, these are sugar balls I think, uh, they're, they're porcelain and they're just an 
awesome thing. So I found these sugar balls and I'm going to put those because they just fit in the kiln. And all I'm going to do is pour my liquid into my sugar balls. Cover them over, put them in the kiln and heat them at 200 degrees centigrade for an hour. And once they've had their hour, I'll raise that temperature gradually up to 550 degrees centigrade and then leave that for one hour at 550 uh, degrees centigrade and then come back to it. It's had that period of time heating, I've turned it off and left it to cool. It's been cooling for a couple of hours or so. And there we go, there's our product. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Okay, I'm going to get that out to show you. So here's a close-up of the two materials. This is the graphitic carbon nitride that we produced without the sugar in a previous video. And this is the material that we've just produced, which has clearly created a carbon-doped graphitic carbon nitride. So this really is easy to do and super cheap. It does give off ammonia, so you need to watch out for that. But you're basically taking this stuff, which is the original graffiti carbon nitride, and making a slight adaptation to make this stuff. This stuff apparently will store 10% by weight of hydrogen. And it does that at one atmosphere and ambient temperature. So if you just stick that in some hydrogen, it will grab the hydrogen and hold on to it. And it stays holding on to it, apparently, until you heat it to 300 degrees centigrade. But what you'd probably need to do is have it in the tank, in a tank warmer, warm the tank initially to get the hydrogen going, burn your hydrogen, and then use the hot exhaust gas to keep your tank um, still at 300 degrees centigrade until all the hydrogen is given out. So creating a hydrogen storage isn't actually that complicated, and it needn't be that expensive, because this is something you can do really easily at home. Now, I recommend that you have a look at the kiln video if you want to make a kiln. Have a look at the original graf um, graphitic carbon nitride video to get the hang of that. And then if you want to make hydrogen storage material, it can actually cost you pence to be able to do it. And it's really, really simple. Now, looking at this, I think this would make a, a really interesting supercapacitor or battery material. But that's a different story. We're looking at this just for hydrogen um, storage in your own DIY hydrogen setup. And as I say... I don't think that needs to cost you very much more than a few dollars a kilo, despite the price they ask for this. Remember the cheapest price I've been told? $20 a gram. Making that about $20,000 a kilo, that's crazy. This, that probably cost us, I don't know, a dollar or two. And we only made a little bit. It'd be the same if we made a big bit. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because I think it's a key component to hydrogen generation and hydrogen storage for the DIYer to be able to do themselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.